Cartesian Products and Relations. As we move forward, let's touch upon a concept called the Cartesian Product. The Cartesian Product of two sets, A and B, denoted A cross B, is the set of all ordered pairs A comma B, such that lowercase a is in capital A and lowercase b is in capital B. For example, if we have two sets A equals 1, 2 and B equals 3, 4, the Cartesian Product A cross B equals this set here. Building on the concept of Cartesian product, we'll now introduce the concept of relations. A relation from set A to set B is a subset of the Cartesian product A cross B. For example, if we have two sets A equals 1, 2 and B equals 3, 4, and we define a relation R from A to B as R equals 1, 3 and 2, 4, then R is a relation from A to B. Consider two sets P equals 1, 2, 3 and Q equals A, B. What is P cross Q? Well, P cross Q is the set of all ordered pairs where the first element is from the set P and the second element is from set Q. So we can go through all of the elements from set P first, starting with one. We can pair one with A and we can pair one with B. Then we have to move on to the next element in P, which is two. We can pair that with A and we can compare two with B. And lastly, we have three comma A and three comma B. So that's the cross product. If R is a relation from P to Q and R equals one comma A and three comma B, is R a valid relation from P to Q? Well, the answer is yes, and that's because the elements in the set R, like one comma A, is in the cross product P cross Q, and three comma B is in the cross product of P cross Q. So that means that this is a valid relation since it is a subset. So R is a subset of the cross product, which makes R a relation from P to Q. Number three, can you identify any other valid relations from P to Q? Well, specifically, there are one, two, three, four, five, six elements in the cross product. For each element in the cross product, I have two choices, whether to include that element in the relation or not. And so there are two to the six possible relations. Another example would be if I have the set just containing one comma A. Let's submit that. Commentary, impressive. Your understanding of Cartesian products and relations is solid and your response regarding the number of possible relations shows you've grasped the concept of subsets and the power set as well. Oh, nice, it was able to understand that my answer to question three demonstrates my understanding of power set. This is why I absolutely love GPT-4 is because you can tell that the AI is paying attention to how I'm approaching each of these answers. I'm honestly shocked to read this. This is honestly my jaw dropped when I read this. Feedback, you've correctly answered all the questions. Nice, here are the explanations. Let's take a look at our progress. In this section, we dived into Cartesian products and relations, which are more advanced concepts in set theory. You demonstrated a thorough understanding of these topics through your correct answers and reasoning. You've also shown a grasp of the concept of power set through your calculation of the number of possible relations. I mean, I am just shocked to read this. I did go out of my way to answer question three. If you notice, really, I just needed to provide another example to answer the question. Can you identify any other valid relations? Here I did. However, I went out of my way to actually count the number of possible relations. And GPT-4 is capable of understanding that I understand the concept of the power set and can use that to calculate the number of possible relations. That's so impressive. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.